the speaker just shift TV is brought to you by BU Brand. Take over, the break's over, nigga. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Got locked up three days ago. Me and my dad got the same name. True story. I'm Marcus Banks Jr. He's Marcus Banks Sr. So I hopped the train in NYC. So I'm like, damn, you caught me. So this bum was right here. I sat next to him. He was like, what you waiting for? I was like, the two train. He was like, you got on Jordan. You'll be out. Two hundred dollar fine. I said, what you in here for? He said, I live here. <laughs> so I was like, so why you got on handcuffs? He was like, unexpected company. So we in the van, so I get there, it's like six hours I'm in the cell. I'm like, see y'all, let me the fuck out. They lock me up on the child support my dad owes me. <laughs> I'm here, people. Just Jeff TV. This is Marcus Banks, comedian, host, actor. Make it happen. What's up, world? It's Just Jeff TV. Right now, I'm in New Rochelle in a mini mansion, a yeah. jacuzzi, <laughs> with the comedian Marcus Banks. Hey. How you feeling, brother? What's up? I'm good. Nice to meet you, brother. Same, same. Welcome to my casa. It's a nice place. It's a nice Appreciate place. You're modest. So, um, last night, you had the chance to open up for Mike Epps. Amazing. 3,000 people in attendance. 3,000. How was that? You know, sometimes you just gotta, it's different. Because, you know, you do these comedy rooms, you do comedy clubs, and it's like, you get 300, you get 400, maybe you get 100, yeah. maybe you get 80 people, but you're interacting. Yeah. But when you do big shows like 3,000 people, because this ain't the first time I've been with Mike Epps. I did Mike Epps when he had 20,000 people. Okay. So it's like, the lighting is different. Okay. So the lighting makes you feel like, damn, I'm important. So these lights is... Nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you feel like, I'm important yeah. now. Like, just, you here, so. Yeah. But you feel important when it's like, damn, it was 10,000 people in the crowd. Then you go do 3,000 in Jersey around the corner from your house. Mm. Where, like, you like, damn, son, I, I did something. You yes. know what I'm saying? So it's like, I did 3,000 people strong. And we're a point. I opened up the show where people were still getting to their seats. Yeah. People probably grabbing their drinks. So you just like, you're humble about it. Because it's like, a dude like Mike Epps is hard to impress. Yeah. Because he's been doing comedy for like 20 plus years. And how did how did he receive your performance? What was, um, what was it like? The first time me and Mike linked up, we linked up through my manager, Christy Clifford. She made me open up for him at um, CIAA Weekend. Okay. It's like, damn. Like, I didn't even know it was 20,000 people in there yeah. until I did the Hey Dad. But people were still getting to their seats. But it's it's just magical because he asked me, yo, how did you do? How did you feel? Yeah. And I'm like, I felt good. And it, and when you in North Carolina, you know, you're in the South. Yeah. You're like, the South... They, they real big critics. Like, if you ain't funny, you ain't funny. Like, they'll boo you. And shut it down yeah, real quick. Yeah, they'll shut it down. <laughs> but the thing about it was, I did a good five-minute set where I had to bring some more on. One of the queens of comedy. Yeah. So I had to tell some more, like, yo, listen. You know, I, I got to bring you on stage. How you want me to bring you on stage? She texts me. Like, yo, listen. This is how I want you to bring me on stage. I had to read her line for line. Like, I had yeah. to pull out my phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had, like, 20,000 credentials. I'm like, damn. Like, Truth. Yeah, right. like, the so, queen of comedy, you know? So going back to, like, as far as building your credentials, what would it start like? Because I know 20,000 people was not in the yeah, crowd when the, the first time you, yeah, you went the, out there to make some The shows. start was, I was at HBX Studios. And um, I always got to, you know, give a salute. Um, my manager at the time, um, Stephen Watts, he got me started in comedy. I used to host fashion shows, the comedy shows, anything that came to our college. Like, I went to college next to Syracuse, Herkimer. So, Herkimer? Yeah, I went to Herkimer. Come on, I went to Mohawk Valley, man. We yeah, I went to Herkimer, yeah. We should have been sitting next three, to each other right five, now. baby. Nah, yeah, you take that 5S. Yeah, like this, yeah you take that 5S. Nah, yeah, that's the You used to go to bogeys? Nah, I used to play ball. I'm saying you used to go to bogeys and shit? Nah, I don't know You ain't go to no club? Nah. You, what, what year you in? I was... 011 to 013, I was in Mohawk Valley. Yeah, I graduated in 2011. That's when all the, that's oh. when the hotels came through. Okay, okay. But yeah, um, yeah. 2000, 2000, I want to say 
10, going in 2011, that's when I started comedy, going into this. So 2011, I was just chilling, and my manager at the time, Stephen Watts, he was like, yo, listen, man, I, I think it's your calling. Like, you funny. And he made me watch Mike Epps for like a whole hour. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, what does this do for me? Like, yeah. He was like, think about it. I watched him, I was like, yo, he's funny. He was like, you funny too. So, was like, so previous to comedy, it was it was what? You was I was just, just hosting. So funny. You was just a funny individual. I was individual. hosting. I, you hosting. know, I, I was one of those dudes. I had all the music on campus. Okay. All the music on campus. And everybody used to come to me like, yo, I need you to do my iPod. So I used to do their iPod and things like that. You know, in college, they'd be like, yo, you can't yeah. download from LimeWire. You know, yeah. back in the day, LimeWire and all that. That's where it started. I started yeah. in college. So I did all that crazy stuff. And then, you know. My manager, Stephen Watson, was like, yo, I think you should do it. I actually got kicked out of college mm. for having a fight, and I was homeless. Man. My mom moved. Like, my mom moved. She went down south, got her house. I was up here just homeless. I never told her, like, yo, I'm not in college. You ain't going to yeah. tell me, like, I ain't in college no more. Yeah. So things wasn't looking up. I was sleeping on the two train, five train. You name a train, I was sleeping on it. You know what I'm saying? Man. So I just became humble. And then one day I was like, maybe I should do it. My uncle Jeff, I'm saying my uncle Jeff is like, listen, I got a show for you. You're going to open up for talent. I'm like, talent? I'm like, Sunset Park talent? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. I got boo like no tomorrow. <laughs> like, I mean, boo. I, what I was, had what was old, the first joke you came out with? Son, I, I said my mom had sex <laughs> and I walked in on her and it was like, boo. Just like that. And it was so crazy. I had a lady. She was 86 years old. Mm. She was like, listen, I got an oxygen tank. Give up. I said, give up. <laughs> bitch, yeah. you should give up. <laughs> <laughs> give up life. Yeah, like, bitch, you got an oxygen tank. But, yeah. you know, five years later, I'm, I'm one of the most respected comedians in comedy right now. Mm. And so, I'm young. You know what I'm saying? I'm 24 years old. I'm young. So, I know... On the way up, you was affiliated with MMG. Yeah. I, uh, first comedian signed to the label. Yeah, I was how signed. Did, how did that situation even happen? How did you even walk into the situation? So, I met Torch's DJ at the Fitter Gallery. The Fitter Gallery is on North Avenue, 357 North Avenue. Um, my cousin actually owns it. My okay. cousin Phil and, um, goddamn, how you forget your own cousin's name? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Phil and Kev yeah. own, own well, you it. You five years in the game, yeah. and after you start forgetting yeah. names. That's, uh, it's called success. My two cousins, <laughs> Phil and Kevin, own the Fitter Gallery. Um, they did a mixtape release party for Torch and Gunplay. They okay. both came through in one, two step. And, you know, I was a fan of Gunplay. I actually gave my business card to the DJ. Like, yo, here, yo, this is my business the card. The power of the business yeah, card. Yeah, like, yo, here's my business card. And two days later, he was like, yo, come to a video. I think we should get you in the video. I'm like, for real? He was like, no, I'm serious. I actually went to the video shoot, never made the video because the guy that was doing the video, like, just disappeared. So we kept in contact, gunplay, like, what I was bringing to the table. So I had a joint deal where yeah. I was signed to Specialist ENT slash Bilderberg Group. Okay. So Specialist is Torch, Bilderberg is... Gunplay. Okay. So I was signed to them and got the MMG tag and had a chain, had a jacket and all that good stuff. And at the time, my manager, G D K, which was the vice president with Gucci Pucci, they was, you know, just helping me out and whatnot. So that's how I yeah. got the MMG tag. But, you know, on the come up, MMG was cool, you know, like Torch, um, Gunplay, they taught me a lot about the industry where certain people can't be your friends. Yeah. Sometimes when you get in the jam, they'll, they'll, people will turn on you. you know, things so are, do you have like a, a mentor as far as like comedy goes? Is it people that, yeah, you know, that's I, I got, coaching you now? Yeah. Right now, I can honestly say like mentor-wise, it's funny because um, when I was coming up, you know, I looked up to like Talent, Rob Stapleton, um, Smokey Suarez. But in this game right now, I can honestly say the people in my age bracket. Yeah. You got Jody Robinson, I got Leonard Oops, I got Willie Lynch Jr., I got Omar Thompson. Like and we're talking around. Yeah, like these are these are guys, you know what I'm saying? Like Leonard Oops is younger than me. But he's the guy that will call me and like, listen, fam, you're doing this tonight, be you. Mm. And then I get Jody, like, listen, your last night we did a show, you did you, but I need you to be the you you. Yeah. So it's like the you you. What's the you like who 
you making me dig into my archives. Like, who the yeah. hell is me? <laughs> so, like, I, I, you understand for the people coming up with me. So yeah. the people that I come, I'm coming up with right now, that's who I honor. Like, when I would start a comedy, of course, you're going to re- pay your respects to the OG. Yeah. So. Things of that nature. So let's go. Let's go way back, way back. Yeah. I'm just interested. How were you in like school, elementary school? Were you the Man, kid that no, was, I was, was a special ed? Class? I was a special ed. <laughs> I was a special ed. I, I had three teachers in myself. Like I was one of them special, special ed. Yeah. Kids. Like that was it. Like I ain't have nobody else. I was special, dumb ed. So how do you, how do you look at it now that you was able to turn whatever someone you oh know, once you, you turn it, it's like damn like. Like, sometimes I look at them like, damn, like, I'm really a comedian now. Yeah. Like, I'm really a comedian. I was on that mic drum back then. You didn't want me. Like, <laughs> I was one of those. Yeah. Put my number on. I had to remember my mom number. Like, nine one four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got to write it in your book Yeah, bag. yeah. One of those. Like, so, so, so as far as, like, your family support and everything that you got going oh, on yeah, now, like, yeah. how hard is it to come in and have that conversation and say, hey, listen, I'm about to be a comedian? When I first came in, my mom, like, when I first got booed, I told my mom, I said, yo, listen, um, I'm a comedian, things of that nature. And my mom's like, yo, listen, um, if you want to do this and you feel you can do this, do it. And yeah. when I got booed, I told her, she was like, yo, whatever ain't going to break you is going to make you. Did yeah. you cry? I said, no. She was like, are you upset? I'm like, in a way. She was like, did they put money in the pocket? I'm like, no. She was like, then go home and write. Mm. You, you've been through enough. Write about everything. Yeah. Write about me. I'll, Write open, about I'll, I'll, I'll open all you in your skits. Oh, your I'm jokes. so open. Like, my mom come to shows and be laughing. Like, yeah. my mom ain't got no edges, so I talk about my mom forever. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Like, you might as well get a fade. You know what <laughs> <laughs> So, what was about to ask? All right, so this is a next question. Um, As far as, like, seeing the people on social media, you yeah. got all the funny people that do the skits, do the jokes. As yeah. far as being a real comedian, as far as really doing stand it's, it's, up how do you look how do you view that do you, do you respect it I, I respect it because it's like you're doing what you want to do i can't i can't say forget you yeah but at the end of the day is i challenge you mm. can you get on stage and do 15 minutes compared to 15 seconds mm. no but can you host the club yeah why because you're getting bottles you're taking pictures it's cool yeah. that's it but you tell one of these comedians that's on this little, you know, doing this little wave, you know, getting their Instagram followers up. Yeah. Yo, come do 15 minutes tomorrow. They're like, ah. They do the, ah. It's a whole different ball game. They're like, 15 minutes, ah. <laughs> they start doing a, I owe you money? Like one of those. But at the end of the day, it's teach your own. Do what you do. So but do you- when I get on stage, you best believe if I go before you, I'm on my, I'm doing it. Uncomfortable I'm going to do it like this. If I go on stage before you and I know you one of them Instagram sensations, I'm going to do you just how James Brown did in that movie, Get On Up. i definitely seen that. I'm show. just keeping it warm for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it warm right. for you. So do you feel like you got to play that game as well? Like no, as far as the I, Instagram I play the game. I play, I play the game. I got skits out. I play the game. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm versatile, baby. Yeah. I could kill you with kindness. I could kill you with your weakness. I could write for you. Yeah. I can tell you how to get your set better. I, I can help you. But at the end of the day, I got to help myself first. Definitely. Like, I'm five years in the game. I, I ain't I ain't crazy. I ain't no Kevin Hart. Yeah. But I'm just trying to go above and beyond of doing what I want to do. What's your What's your goal? Like, when you started this, where did you see yourself going? My goal so is... I know this path kind of found yeah, you. Yeah, the, the goal is movies. You mm. know, you want to get sponsors. You, you know, like a dude like me, I really don't care for the fame. I don't care for fame. Give me my money. With the lights give me, it's give me my money. money. <laughs> like I don't care for the fame, but of course you want it. Like you, I want to, I want to be like Kevin. Hart. I want to be in every single movie, yeah, commercial. I want to be at your baby shower. <laughs> I want to be the stepdaddy. I don't even want to have sex with you. I just want to be there. Listen, I'm gonna be a stepdaddy because this ain't gonna work out. Cause you know everybody come to a baby shower. Everybody wear a Burberry shirt, white jeans, white Harlem. Cool, classic. Then I'm right there. Listen, I'm your stepdad. This ain't gonna work out. You understand? I'm, I'm talking to the stomach. This, this ain't gonna work out. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. how 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 hard do you prepare? Like how do you get ready for for stand up? Like how do you prepare your jokes and say, all right, this is funny. Who who's around you to to really give you that support? Cause 
But call me, I know you need somebody that's yeah, going to keep it yeah, 100. It, it's so crazy. I got probably the best cameraman in the business. I got Kadeem. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got Kadeem. <laughs> I got Shout Kadeem. out. Yeah. My man Kadeem. Yeah, follow him on Instagram, Kadeem89. Kadeem is probably one of the biggest critics to come to a show. Like, Kadeem will come to a show, film it. Because Kadeem sees other and, press and, right now. And <laughs> I, no, I, I'll see laughs. I'll be, I'll be like, I killed him. He's like, listen, you thought you killed him. Mm. Let me tell you something. The joke you did yesterday was better. Today, horrible. What I want you to do, I'm like, who the fuck is you? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, Kadeem will always be that one friend. Yeah. That would never be a yes man. That's never. That's probably the most important never. thing for any like, that's talent. Any, coming like up, any talent I do, like I don't care if I want to be an NBA player tomorrow. If I couldn't go to my left, I think Kadeem would be like, work on your left man. And yeah. that's the thing about Kadeem. He'd be like, yo, work on that joke, work on that joke. And there's things of that. So yeah. it's like. So what are you doing, um, like, watching the, the comedians that's been doing it for a longer time that comes up after you, what are you doing as far as, like, picking up on things that they're doing? Do you the, s- the, sit in the back and really watch, nah, or do you the, just, you just... You I know, don't really like watching comedians. Because you don't want I don't to even, rub off I don't, on you? No, nah, I don't even want to feel like we have the same material, or I'm stealing, or you feel yeah. I'm stealing. I don't even want to watch what you do. You know, like... I'll go to a show, and if I'm on the show, I'll peek in. But I'm just not going. We're not going to do the, yo, you're amazing. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I feel I'm amazing. Yeah, you don't want to be like, starstruck. Yeah, I'm not starstruck. Like, a dude like me, I I go to clubs and see people I know. like, And then I see stars. I'll be in my section. I don't care to take a picture with this person. It'd it be the promoters. Hey, go over there. But at the end of the day, it's like. You just gotta be you. When you're you, people gonna gravitate you to bring. you. <laughs> you're gonna be you, and like Definitely. you're you. Like this is just 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 Jeff TV. TV. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like that's no one else is doing this. That's a that's a strong message because you know, a lot like, of people, be you. Like, a lot of people, they, especially now, they see what's happening. Everybody's starting to act alike. It's yeah. hard because social media, you're looking at everything that's happening mm-hmm. and it's hard to be an individual now. Yeah, because at the end of the day, everybody's rubbing over on each, each other. You know, yeah. At the end of the day, you had the Wealth and the Grades, you had the Eight Towns and, and you looking like, damn. Maybe maybe I should tell people I got ADD. <laughs> maybe I should tell them yeah. I'm, I'm half somewhat wrong with me. You know, things yeah. of that nature. Like, something's wrong with me. Like, you know, I got two kids I don't even know about. Are you serious? Or is, no, I was just, just saying. Yeah, uh, you're active. Child support of talent. Child support of you're looking for me. <laughs> Blur my face like I'm on American Gangster. <laughs> so, so, what do you got coming up next as far as the, the comedy? Do you have a tour in place? Or, like, how are you looking to promote what you uh, got right going now, on? Right um, now, I got a little tour in place that I might be on with Jada Kiss. I got that. Um, also, I'm working on my DVD refund check. I've been working on it for like two, three years. Uh, Kadeem is actually the person that's going to put it together. Just got a couple cameramen. We got to run down on and get the footage. What's the What's the story behind that refund check? I know that's big in community refund colleges. Check, <laughs> no, nah, refund check is basically showing people where I came from where I'm at now. Yeah. But I want to do a 12-minute DVD just showing people, you know, here and there, being in different places. And just showing people like, yo, this this is what I'm doing. This is what I like. This is what you're getting. And I'm giving it out for free. It's like a mixtape. Free? Yeah, I'm giving it out That's for free. That's the best way you got to no, feed but, the street. No, but I got, I got the website, MarcusBanksComedy.com. You know, I'm just I'm just trying to feed my family. Mm. You know, I'm just trying to be respectful to everybody. Every, anybody can tell you. Anywhere I, I am, I'll take a picture with you. I'll kiss your baby. I'll hug your grandmother. I like, grab your grandmother's oxygen tank if you're on oxygen. Like, I'm, I'm respectable, you know? Yeah, because that experience as far as, like, going through what you went through. Yeah, what I went through, you, really... you, I'm, 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 just, I'm just blessed. That's what I tell people. I'm blessed. If I wasn't blessed, then I wouldn't be blessed to have a family. Like, I got a family. I got a brother. He got two kids. He's blessed with two kids. I got a sister. She's blessed. I got a mother. She's blessed. I got a father. Never met him. Mm-hmm. I did meet him, but... 
Do I care for him? So what's the, no. I know you got the hey dad joke. I was hey doing, dad, it's me. I'm on an interview right now. Which camera is looking at me? This one or that this, one? That one right but there, at the end one. of the, uh, whichever one is looking at me, I'm doing an interview right now, you sack of garbage. You know what time it is. MarcusBanksComedy.com. The son you left. I'm still doing what I got to do. I made it to something. Doing it big, doing it better <laughs> on Just Jeff TV. <laughs> just Jeff TV. Hey, what is, this, is this your TV? <laughs> Is this a just, flat screen? It's just Jeff. <laughs> it's just Jeff. And it's got Marcus Banks on it. And he's getting better. He's improving. And he's about to be one of the biggest people. Yeah, in the don't talk to my dad. He owe me child support. Oh, no, I'm not speaking to him no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking to him. Don't get, don't I'm talking get to him, the audience. Don't now. give him motivation. <laughs> I'm speaking to the audience. Don't give him motivation at all. I'm letting them know to make sure they go to your website. But yeah, MarcusBanksComedy.com. I got a phenomenal website. I'm working on two web series right now. I just got called for another web series, so three web series in the work. Got my DVD coming out, and you know, I'm just, I'm calm. I'm, I'm cool. I'm confident. I'm also hosting the TV show called All Eyes on Me TV. Um, things about to get back into work. I'm trying to do radio, mm -hmm. and I'm just, I'm just picking up anything that comes my way. Besides ladies, you know why? Because they look for the cover. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying, bro? Definitely. We, 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 see, we see y'all. We see y'all coming. You we know, see y'all. You got to fade the waves like me. <laughs> <laughs> we watching. <laughs> you are not going to trick us. <laughs> you are not going to trick us. But, yeah. yo, Marcus, yeah. thanks. Good good to meet you. Um, first comedian signed to that so raspy. Mm, you know. That's only, big. Only 24 years old. Um, first comedian to have a cameraman. Tell them all. Yeah. Tell it all. Tell it all. Don't I, tell, I, it all. I, I, tell it all. Tell it all. Like this, is, and the crazy thing is, I don't even have a cameraman. I got a good friend, Kadeem. First, first comedian to ever have their friend be a real consultant to their career. Mm. So you tell any other comedian, hey, I got my cameraman. That's cool. I got my consultant with me, mm. but he gonna film this tonight. That's what we gonna do. So I'm just being me, and you know, YouTube.com/slash normal four and banks. Instagram and Banks914. Same thing goes for Snapchat. I'm just out here working. They, That's they, all you can the, do. The work I'm putting in right now, you couldn't even put your foot in these shoe size right now. I don't know, man. I might, man. I work pretty damn hard. No, too. I do too, but <laughs> I, I, got, like I, got shoes, <laughs> I got shoes bigger than Shaq. That's what I'm talking about. But yo, I heard you'd like to be up there in Dykeman, man. Yeah, I love Dykeman. So let's go right now, man. I'm, I'm with it. it. <laughs> there ain't nothing left. It's just Jeff. And we signing out. We might go to Dykeman. Let's, let's, let's get about it. Let's get about it. I'm with Dykeman. He said Dykeman. You ain't. I'm sorry for everybody looking at my wristband. I didn't. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't come home from the club. I, I'm leaving somewhere. But anyways, we roll. Well, taking off.